Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a video review on Meteor for Zoom, Teams, and Co. So basically what this app is, it makes joining Zoom calls or any of your virtual meetings a lot simpler. Uh, what I used to do for my Zoom meetings was either search through my email or have a notes app like this with all the links inside. Um, the problem with this, however, is that when you click on it, it opens a new tab in um, your web browser and then it brings you to Zoom. Um, I found I found that highly inefficient, uh, so that's why that's where this meter comes in. Uh, so just download it; it's completely free, and it downloads really quickly. Um, and when you open it, it should pop up here in your menu bar. Uh, so when you click on it once, it should be empty and look like this. Uh, and to add new links quickly, you want to click the settings icon right here. Uh, that'll open this general settings. Um, and what I usually use this for is for speed dial. Uh, what speed dial is, it's actually really simple. You put in your link and you give it a name. I'm going to call it test. Um, and if it does have the password, then you can put the password in there as well. You click save and um, that's pretty much it. You click on your menu bar and it'll show up right here for your quick call list. Also, another cool thing about Meter is it shows you um, events from your calendar once you sync it up. Um, I'm not going to click it here because it has my private information, but it will sync up with your calendar. And then if there, if it finds any Zoom links or Hangouts or Microsoft Teams, um, it'll give you a link right here to log in, um, kind of like this. Um, but what I usually use it for is for the quick call list because my school schedule is kind of complicated. Um, so I'll, instead of using the default UI, I change it to the minimalist one. Uh, that way it only shows up um, really cleanly and simple. Uh, and if you have multiple links in your speed dial, it'll show you every one of these. That's why it's important to give it a good name. Um, there's also extra settings. For example, uh, if, it, if you do have um, scheduled uh, meetings uh, with the link, then you can actually make it show you a notification right here um, to like tell you when to join the meeting. Also, you can um, show the title, show the countdown for the next meeting. Uh, that's what this one is for. But I usually don't use this because um, I join my meetings manually. Um, and down here, this is where the special thing is. Uh, instead of opening it in the default browser, it actually opens it in Zoom. Um, which is why it's so much more convenient um, than having like a notes app to save all your links. And also it's completely free, so there's no reason not to get it. Um, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.